The LA Angels 2021 MVP, Shohei Otani, is undoubtedly one of the best players in the world right now. The only problem is he's on the LA Angels, and they are a losing ball club, especially after this trade deadline where they sold Noah Syndergaard and Rasiel Iglesias. It looks like they're going to have their eighth straight season where they're going to miss playoffs. And with Shohei Otani entering his final year in 2023, will the LA Angels ship away their two-way sensation and begin the rebuild? Before we get into this further, guys, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as well, this video is brought to you by BetStamp. Find the best bet for your bet on BetStamp. It's completely free. Let's get into the video. Shohei Otani is putting up another remarkable 2022 campaign. As of August 5th, this guy is slashing 258 with an on base of 552, slugging of 508, and that's an OPS of 859. Really incredible stuff as well with 24 homers to go along with it. And on the mound, he is doing incredibly better than what he was last year. This guy has a 283 ERA with a 104 whip and with 105 innings pitched and 152 strikeouts. This guy is getting it done and is clearly the Angels best pitcher. Well, we all know that Otani, when playing on any other contending ball team, would instantly make that team World Series favorites. That means he's gonna demand a high price in a trade. LA Angels probably need to ship off Otani this offseason if they want to maximize the return for one year of a superstar two-way player. Now, that would surely give them an opportunity to start a rebuild, but will the LA Angels do it? I'm saying no. Now, I have my reasons, but here's an outside source. Per The Athletic, Jason Stark said that one anonymous executive predicted Otani won't be dealt by the Angels because owner Art Moreno is, a quote, afraid to ever trade him. Now, why would he ever be afraid to trade him? Well, let's talk about the human element here. You're talking about a guy who went through an entire almost decade of trying to build a team for the LA fans. You get Mike Trout. You bring in some older guys when Mike Trout was around. That didn't really work out. They kind of declined like Pujols and Upton. Then you sign Mike Trout to a massive deal and you bring in guys like Rendon to help out the team and who we're talking about, Shohei Otani, who then breaks out in 2021. The LA Angels fan base is starting to get very, very upset with this rebuild. And by sending away Shohei Otani, you're basically telling them, look, what I did did not work and I failed. And a lot of these owners, let's be honest, you got to have some pride. So the idea of trading away Shohei Otani, like we said, in the off season to maximize return is basically saying we give up before the campaign has even started. Okay, so then the question is, well, why don't we extend Shohei Otani to extend our window a little bit? Because let's be honest, if the Angels want any chance to go back to a postseason, they're going to need Shohei Otani. Now, the problem is we know Shohei Otani is going to absolutely cost a fortune. Because let's be honest, it's not every day you get an ace and a slugger in one one player and his expected average annual value is supposed to break MLB records. Now, a lot of people think that the LA Angels have a serious money problem. Well, that actually isn't the case anymore. Going into next year, they've got a lot of big names off the book like Albert Pujols, Justin Upton. Those guys are now gone. Those are big chunks of money, 20 plus million each that they're no longer paying to those dudes. And yes, they do have Mike Trout for 37 million, Anthony Rendon for 38 million per year. But you could realistically still pay a guy guy like Otani 45 to 50 million a year and still have the ability to have all these younger guys under your team but that's exactly it if the LA Angels want to go back to a postseason after extending Otani they now need to rely on their development which has been really shaky in the last few years I really do believe if Mike Chuck could stay healthy they could somehow get Anthony Rendon back on the field doing what he used to do and they sign back Shohei Otani to a big time deal and then let these young guys develop maybe they make a couple trades they might have a chance to make a push for a wild card spot eventually but I think that's what the LA Angels are going to do they're going to keep trying because it's been eight it will be eight long years of not making the playoffs with one of the best players in Mike Trout and arguably now the next best player coming out and emerging onto the scene Shohei Otani how do you not make playoffs they gotta make a push they cannot make a trade if you want any hopes of making the postseason in the next five years so what do you guys think do you think the LA Angels are going to ship off Shohei Otani in the offseason before next trade deadline in 2023 let me know your thoughts and comments and guys if you enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and as always guys go jays go